Hello, welcome to lesson 1.4. Um, just want to let you know that I am going to break it into smaller chunks so I can publish more tutorials at a faster rate. Um, I also want to share with you that um, I'll be using Unreal Engine 4.12 from this tutorial onwards because I've uh, realized there's a lot of good um, improvements especially to like mess so I'm gonna convert all my tutorials to 4.12 just for your info so let's get started so all we have to do is we just launch this mm. okay then we will browse for our project file okay and it will ask whether I want to open a copy or I want to convert so I'll just open a copy just to be safe open a new version so from the previous lesson we uh, let's not worry about it first um, we have a uh, erroneous static mesh and we want to uh, kind of fix this so what we do is uh, we get the static mesh ID go back to 3d studio max which is this one okay and what we will do or rather what usually what I will do is I will check the unwrap UVW is map channel 2 uh, let's check the others I believe is map channel 2 also so yeah sometimes you know there are these small little things that um, that has issues you know it looks perfectly fine the UVW map so I have uh, so what, what do we do from here you know when we when we import in um, there is something wrong with it so um, so what we can do is we reflatten it just like what I have shown you. Another way is that I find really uh, useful is that we can just create a channel one UV UVW map. So I'll, I'll put in another one. I don't, know, but this seems to work. So, um, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I created one with a channel one, and I reflatten my channel two. Okay, uh, let's not touch anything so what I do is I'll just re-export this particular one using TS tools okay um, so I'll just put it here okay I don't, I'm not going to change anything I just re-export this one and then I'm going to re-import the static mesh okay so it already exists yes I want to overwrite okay let's check I don't want to uh, generate light map I don't want to generate collision okay so oh, so there's still issues with it it seems okay so right now the UVW map is there so let's try to rebuild and see if it works don't worry about this okay so you see now right now it's white in color which means yes it is working you know I won't go into too much details about doing a perfect light map uh, I believe there are good materials out there to uh, learn how to do it properly but for what we do um, in this lesson I think this would suffice so right now I just want to do a test walk through you know in my room so I'm gonna add a player start class Where is it? Let me find. Yeah, play start. 
I'm going to drag it here and then I'm going to press play ah see, see I'm falling down so it's because I'm going to press F to refocus it's because there's no collision remember when we import our meshes we didn't put any collision so um, right now I'm going to just put some collision so that uh, I can walk around the room so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bounding volume oh uh, is it bounding or blocking yeah it's a uh, let's try okay it's a blocking volume okay so this will act as a collision okay then I'm going to just do a quick one and cover the the room okay just do uh, 500 500 okay just to make sure it covers the room okay maybe this needs to be bigger hey, sorry 1000 okay so what happens is I'm not going to put a, a bounding volume on the walls so I'm going to let you see what's happening with the collision okay so I'm going to press play again right now I can walk around in the room but because there's no collision in the walls I can walk out of the walls okay so that's the purpose of collision so when you are done we are happy with everything uh, you should put collision uh, in most of the things that you have I didn't want to have collision in the meshes because uh, it create um, a lot of problems what I mean by that is when I import an object we can actually have uh, collisions but I didn't want to do that because uh, you know there's a lot of problems my place will get stuck um, the collision will envelop the whole room so I think the easiest and fastest way is to just manually add collisions ourselves you know um, nobody is going to penalize um, you for having no collision on a sofa you know um, I think that uh, we don't have to be too um, perfectionist about that but of course if you want then you know you, you can have your own style um, you, you can you know have collisions for your furniture and and not for the walls and, and stuff like that so so it's up to you but personally I prefer not to have any collision and add my own uh, blocking volumes okay alright so right now to make the room feels realistic I'm gonna add a background okay there are many many ways to do a background um, so one of the ways um, to use a very big static mesh um, just like the realistic rendering demo you can explore it um, download it and explore it so I'm going to show you how I'm going to import this uh, static mesh into my project and use the background from there okay so first things first let's locate the static mesh background Okay, and I'm going to export this as an actions uh, migrate. Okay, so I migrate my material files and my mesh files. Okay, um, and we're going to choose our project folder. For me, is I put it in desktop. Uh, content folder. Okay, so once we just need to click on the content folder and let Unreal Engine do the copying okay do not attempt to copy this yourself outside the system outside Unreal Engine just use this way to copy any assets that you have so Unreal Engine will take care of all the connections all the files and it will migrate it over nicely for you okay migrated successfully okay so it is here Okay, materials is there done nicely for you so you can study the materials on how they do the materials for the background is just a picture and then connected to the um, this is the blend mode is translucent shading mode is unlit and 
just need to connect the uh, this channel to the emissive color and the alpha channel to the opac uh, opacity um, node okay so this is one quick way to do it I'm just going to drag this mesh out So it, this should be really I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees. Well, is it 90 degrees? No, you need to rotate it one more time. Okay, so I'm going to move this all the way back. I'm just going to remove. Uh, Just gonna put the sky sphere a bit bigger to envelop my background. Okay, and okay. So I'm just gonna get rid of the um, temporary sky box. You know, maybe I'll just save another version because I just wanna show you a few things. So I'm just gonna save it as a SM background. Okay, I'm just going to uh, remove the skybox and then I'm going to what I'm going to do is move it to a really really far location and then I'm going to multiply this 65 times you know so that it looks like the background is like that you know it envelopes our whole interior scene but as you can see I, I, I really don't like this method of uh, doing the background is a uh, it's not elegant um, some 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 of you who are used to 3d studio max who are used to um, still images may like this but um, I I don't really fancy this so I'll be I use a skybox most of the time and I'll be showing you how to do it okay so that will be where we will go now so let's remove that static mesh static mesh okay okay I've removed the static mesh um, and um, in the next lesson I will teach you how to use a uh, skybox I will also teach you let me see let me see my plan um, I'll add in some lights um, and other stuff so stay tuned um, so in the meantime enjoy this tutorial that's all I have for you thank you so much for subscribing please continue to share um, the videos to your friends who are interested in uh, Unreal Engine architectural visualization. Thank you.